My name is Dan Briggs. I am the lead visual effects artist on Diablo 4. I'm Nick Shalano, I'm the lead animator on Diablo 4. Take care of all the awesome animations for monsters, mounts, everything you're going to see moving. So talk about the biggest differences we'll see moving from 3 to 4. Uh, I think it's the tone, right? So we're going all in on Return to Darkness, and I think you'll see that throughout the entire game. The combat, the world, everything really. Thematically, we want to kind of bring it back to some of those those Return to Darkness values that we've, we've seen in the past. Um, we did a lot of work on trying to figure out like what that meant for this this part of the franchise. We're really excited. What is um talk about the evolution of Diablo this, of, as a franchise? It, it took a long break for a while, came back with a vengeance, and now you're bringing our back four. Like, what's it been like seeing this franchise grow and evolve and change? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. It's, it's been amazing. I've been on the team for a long time. It's it's fantastic to kind of. I was, I was telling some of the guys when, when, when we were about to announce, I was like, you guys ready to do it again? You know, it's awesome. We're really excited about it. And uh, just seeing it go through the evolution has been fantastic. Like, we, we always learn from stuff. We're always growing. We're always trying things. We're seeing what sticks. We're, we're evolving. And, and it's great to kind of get to this point right now. It's super awesome. Yes, we definitely take a lot of inspiration from previous games. And it just it feels amazing to finally be able to share the game with the world. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because this was being worked on like for a long time and you're just announcing it here today for the first time. So it's exciting yes. you can yeah. finally say, hey, this is what I've been working on for the past <laughs> yes. two and a half years. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so, you know, we were there for several years. It's uh, a lot of hard work from a lot of people. And like, yeah, we, we were walking around being like, what game do you work on? I work on Diablo 4. I have my jacket, yeah. I can finally show this off. Oh yeah, you have the yeah, yeah. The, the, the jacket swag, it's cool because it's yeah. dev team, you're like dev team. Yes, right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> right when that cinematic finished, I was like, I'm pulling this thing out of my backpack, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So talk about, you guys have, you guys announced four classes, talk a little about each class and how they play because they're going to play a lot differently than from Diablo 3 by the looks of it. Yeah, so we announced three classes. Oh, three classes, uh, the, okay. The Barbarian, the Sorceress, and the Druid. Yes. And yeah, I think the, you know, the Barbarian's like your, your meat and potatoes, like he's, so he or she's gonna run up. They're gonna they're gonna just slash demons in the face. They're they get blood all over them. They're really physical. Yes. Um, and I think Luis mentioned it. Like we've taken away some of those elemental uh, like affixes that run some of the skills and put more like blood and physicality. He's on it. super physical at this point. And my favorite new feature for him is the arsenal. That's yeah. what we're calling it. So. Uh, you know, when you think of a barbarian, you always think of like he just has tons of weapons. He's got swords, pole arms, axes, and th it's actually a gameplay mechanic now where you have four weapon slots on your character. You can uh, have two handers and one hander weapons at the same time. You can actually choose which weapons go with which skills, which opens up a ton of possibilities. Yeah. You know, for the end game. It's so. pretty awesome. And obviously, the shape shifting with the druid is like like the main thing. For yes, the druid. my favorite. Class. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Like. Uh, seeing the druid be able to quickly uh, shapeshift from werebear to werewolf to human, like in the middle of attacks, really fast pace, and, and it kind of keeps with that, like, like what makes Diablo combat awesome is like, is that, that visceral combat, and like the druid like really excels at it, also while changing forms, it's, yes. it's awesome. He, and he's super fun, he's a hybrid class, so as you're human, you can do, you know, storm magic, earth magic, you can quickly shapeshift to a uh, werewolf, and you're super agile, you're jumping around, you're just slashing people, and then, you know, you turn into a giant bear and just like face tank and crush yeah, things. Yeah, and yeah, it awesome. feels incredible. Yeah, it's great. Um, uh, and yeah, then we haven't talked about the sorceress yet. Yeah. So yeah, sorceress, she is just like elementalist, pure elementalist. So uh, lightning, ice, and fire is really it. And there's that frost mechanic too, where like yes. as you as you do like 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 ice damage, um, you'll start to slow monsters down. Eventually they'll kind of freeze. And then you can just like basically hit them with like high damage, they like explode and they like it's wombo awesome. combo, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Matt Wombo combo, did you guys see that? The video's <laughs> yeah, awesome. Dude, it's awesome. The it's awesome. sorceress leaps yeah, off yeah. and freezes everything, and the barb just kind of crushes yeah. it all. So, um, cool. yeah, it's great. So the Druid was a fan favorite, obviously, it was not in Diablo 3 with like the much disarray, but there's a lot of classes that have been <laughs> spanned. How do you guys go about deciding what class goes into the game and how it plays? Sure, yeah, so it's really up to a lot of different people. We talk, you know, we talk about it a lot, and uh, Luis mentioned the Druid was one of the classes we were kind of on the fence about, and I know it's a fan favorite, so I think he said it lasted about a day before a lot of people at the office were like, no man, we gotta do this. Uh, people were drawing amazing concepts, so I think it is really multidisciplinary, and uh, it's a lot of conversations, and then... Yeah, we have a great culture there, so I think what ends up happening is like, you know, we, we all get to kind of share, like, like what we think or how we feel about something or what we feel might make the game awesome, and 
uh, it's collaborative. So I think at that point, even though there was that brief moment where it's like, well, should we do a Druid or not? It was like, yes. the art was awesome, the team wanted to do it, and yeah, now we have a Druid. And to just expand on that, so we work in feature teams, which is, you know, many different disciplines that work together, design, tech art, animation, effects, sound, and really we work in these small groups to kind of pivot quickly and try to, we try lots of things out, and that's kind of how we end up where we are today. And another thing that I love that uh, the Diablo 4 team does is we do team brainstorms. So all the times we'll just have everyone show up in this giant room and be like, all right, what if we made a druid? What do you think they should do? And it's we get like, millions like thousands of ideas. <laughs> yeah. And we kind of we kind of go through there and see like which ones kind of stick, make yes. sense, which ones are trending towards a certain like kind of vision. You guys need T-shirts that say "Team Brainstorm." <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I feel a little bad for the person that has to go through all the sticky notes because <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not kidding. There are thousands of them. Yes. We generate so many ideas. Yeah. I, it's, we have a blast doing it. So, and from an animation standpoint, speaking of the druid, is it hard? Because obviously you have like one model, you have like the werewolf model, then the druid human model, but then you have to make a model in between and it has to look smooth. Or you could do it like Warcraft does, just like pop a smoke in there, oh, they're transformed. So this is actually uh, probably one of the best things I think that we did up to this point, which is like multi-disciplines got <laughs> together to figure out like, how do we do this? How do we make shape-shifting smooth, um, fast, intuitive, without doing a puff of smoke or something like that. Yes. And, uh, and that's where like effects, animation, tech art, character art, all kind of came together with our, with our awesome engineers. And we have this way of basically taking an animation that's one animation, and it'll swap between the different models like, on the fly. And all the shaders will update, all of the effects will work, and it's, 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 it's awesome. It's all dynamic. You can be wearing any armor, and it just automatically works. Um, Nick's team thankfully only has to make one animation for you know every form that you're in. So if you're doing a bear attack, it doesn't matter if you're in a werewolf form or mm -hmm. a human form. When you start, you just it just kind of automatically the works. So there's a lot of tech involved and. Yeah, I don't think super people, fun to work on. Yeah, I don't think people understand how much effort goes into something like that, where it's yeah. like you're you're you have to in real time you're loading a whole new model in and it has to look smooth or look at least semi decent, right. you know, and then going off and a lot of that's dance team that did a lot of that with the effects. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, the, the way we build it really like it's all kind of one model. They're all there, and we do lots of trickery. You know, the effects <laughs> is a lot of smoke and mirrors, and um, really when we started it, the, the tech is sort of the difficult part, like we gotta figure out a lot of things. It takes a lot of math. Um, but <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to use yeah, exactly. math. Yes, but I think, you know, we had this goal of like, you know, it has to be quick. We wanna keep the combat yeah. feeling really punchy and awesome. Well, you yeah. wanna keep the combat punchy, but then you want the visuals to kind of support that. So like, yes. the goal there is like, we get the, when we, we get the tech working, and we work with very like simple art at that point. We're just trying to like figure things out. The tech kind of comes online, and they're like sweet. And we have a lot of faith that we can all artify it really well. But like you said, the hard part is kind of the tech, like figuring. Right. Out how oh, I'm sorry. Is. I totally blanked. <laughs> but we were chasing the fantasy, right? Like when you're shape shifting, we look at a lot of references. We look at yeah. movies. We look at other games. And something that when people shape shift in film, it's very gruesome. It's kind of brutal, and that's really fitting for Diablo. Mm -hmm. So, you know. We had to do it in 0.5 seconds because <laughs> our combat's pretty quick, but I feel like we, we kind of hit that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. how it works out. So.